All right, in this session, I want to talk about the difference between G90 mode and G91 mode. G90 being absolute and G91 incremental. And we always want to make sure that we write our tool paths in absolute mode. And absolute mode means that our coordinates are in relation to a work offset origin. Okay. So in this example, I pulled up a program from a previous lesson where we're making a four by four square and we're doing an offset toolpath and we're just going to step through it and we're going to see what that looks like. So we come down and here on line 10, we are in position. We activate G54, which is the origin of our part. And on that line, I want you to notice the G90. And so G90 means that any coordinate that the machine reads after that is in relation to that origin. Okay. So let's step through it. We do our Z moves. We're in position. And now the next move is going to be X two inches, 250. So that means that the tool has moved from X minus two inches, 250. Okay. On the left side, on the minus side of X zero. And it has traveled a total distance of four inches, 750 to arrive at X two inches, 250. So let's go ahead and complete that move. You can see that. Then the next move is Y minus two inches, 250 coming from Y two inches, 250. So the total distance traveled will be four and a half inches. Okay. Then again, from there to X, minus two inches 250 and then we close the square by going back to y two inches 250. so all these coordinates are in relation to the origin that's in the center of the part okay so let's go ahead and complete this program while in a g90 state now notice when we make our home out move on line 24 we switch the machine to a incremental mode because it needs to be an incremental command to send the Z axis and the Y axis home. The G28 tells the Z axis to go home, but it has to be in an incremental state before you can call the G28. Okay. So once the G91 is called, it stays modal. And even once the program is complete and rewinds itself to the top of the program, I have left the machine in a G91 mode. Let me drag this back down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the program and I'm going to remove the G90. Okay. So I have left the machine in a G91 mode. Now it, it will probably show correct on the first go around, but let me go ahead and show you what happens. Okay. So we're going to rewind back to the top of the program. Let me drag this down just a little bit. Now we're going to step back through the program and let's watch those X and Y moves. So that X minus two inches, 250, Y 250 looks correct. And this first go around, the software still thinks G90, but now if I run the program two times in a row, even the software knows that I have left the machine in G91 mode because that's the last thing it was called. Okay. So now watch what happens when we wrap it into position on the G54. Now I'm going to complete that move. Now notice my first rapid move is off in the North forties here. Then I make a Z move. And then my next X is a two inches, 250. And so now the only distance it has traveled is two inches, 250, not two X, two inches, 250 beyond zero or on the plus side of X zero, but only a total distance because it's an incremental move. And every time an incremental move is complete, wherever that endpoint is now is considered the origin. Okay, so when I complete the next move, notice it just showed me that the end mill traveled to Y minus two inches to 50. So our square is actually half the distance or half the size. Okay. Because it's only moving half the distance. So if I continue and I let it start over again on the M30, my 
page is going to move. So let me drag that back down and let me zoom out. If I play this again, you can see each time I'm milling that square in a different place. Okay, and it's only moving half the distance because each move it is made is basically just an incremental move. So that's half the distance. Now that was hard to see. Let me see if I can zoom in there. Let me do all. There it is. That's a little bit easier to see right there. So that's what happens when the machine is left in the incremental mode. So it is very important that even on the safety line, the very first line on line six right here, you already start with a G90 and probably a good idea is at the very last thing you do right after homing out the Y axis on that next line is enter a G90. So it, when it's done reading that program is left in an absolute mode. All right, so what I'm going to recommend we do first of all on our safety line, we're always going to put a G90. So right off the bat, we're putting the machine back into an absolute mode. Okay. Then also anytime you call a work offset add a G90 right there. And then also just like I showed you already at the very end of that operation, whether it's making a tool change to the next tool or right before it rewinds, let's add that G90 right here at the end of the program. All right. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.